Howdy guys, how we doing? Welcome to a brand new game. So this is called Space Stars. Now it's a game that I've, I've noticed that has been around the Google Play Store for a little bit now and I was sort of curious to check it out, see what it's all about and yeah, let's see how this game goes. It is a survival game so keeping in with, within my genre space of course but um, yeah, keen to see what this game's all about and yeah, let's see if it's something that we can um, do long term or see how far we can go with it I guess in a sense but yeah, let's see how we go. Alright, so a little bit of narration here. My head, where am I? What happened after that scuffle? Attention, the station is under attack. Stay in a safe place. Okay, hell no, my cargo was left on Vega. I need to get back to my ship. Okay, so let's go ahead and accept that. And let's move on. Okay, so standard joystick controls. We've got punch. Looks like we've got a gathering um, uh, button as well. Uh, this is what our, invent uh, sorry, our inventory looks like. So fairly standard sort of, I guess, um, uh, survival game-esque, you know, look and feel. You know, initial impressions. I've never seen this game before in the past myself, but um, this appears to be your, uh, well, I guess your crafting menu. So you've got, they call it a list of blueprints. Uh, we've got first aid pack, oxygen from water, and then we've got a a primitive or drill and then um, this is what's required to craft just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea um, texture wise it looks pretty nice um, for a game that's very very early on it looks pretty good so far um, this is where you would obviously purchase you know bits and pieces items if you want to support the developers in that sense and then you've got the coins and then you've got inventory or messages I guess um, hang on there was one thing we missed out on and this is where you'd see your journal now just seeing if we can interact with anything here before we can um i guess before we uh disembark or anything like that now i haven't heard any audio so far so i'm just going to have a quick squeeze here uh everything is set to high 60 fps let's go ahead and do that let's just go ahead and do that with the sound uh graphic quality is set to ultra so we'll leave that alone and I just want to sort of see, okay, so we can't sort of go that way by the looks of things. So it's, it's telling us to go, obviously, this way. <clears throat> uh, let's have a look-see over here. All right, so we've got some, uh, I guess, NPCs. Uh, so stop, don't move. Didn't you get busted for fighting? I was just defending myself uh, until you twisted my arm. Who's attacking the station? Judging by the insignia, um, um, menaces and his fanatics but what could they be doing here i guess the security doesn't care about the delivery guy anymore so i'll just be on my way quiet they're coming this way take the gun from the body and cover me if you really want to get out all right so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and take the gun so let's go ahead and grab equip close the inventory pretty standard procedure in terms of how they would show you how to do things um so let's just shoot these fellas down beautiful um, so let's go ahead and take all naturally when you're playing any sort of survival game you want to make sure that you are grabbing everything that you can in the early stage because you're obviously never going to um, have the ability to come back and um, and retrieve these sort of things so I'd rather do all that whilst we're here um, and we'll just continue on obviously so nothing else I can pick up from here okay so it seems like they're, it's you they're after but why have no idea, don't want to find out how do I get it out of the docks. Through the door to the right, are you sure you don't want to stay? Mensa's men might still be there. So you can send me back to jail, no way. Maybe you can help me get to the ship. There's a lot of work to be done. So I'd better start feeling out the reports right now. Move, I'll close the door. Okay, so he's just letting me go. And that's it. I can't, I can't go anywhere. I can't go back to that. So we can go through here, we can have a look at what's in this chest. So let's go ahead and take all of these. Maybe I should be wearing these um, these armor bits and pieces, but you know what, for now, let's just not do that because I'm going by my experience in, um, in all survival games. You should be able to get by without using any sort of armor that they give you at the start because you may as well use these um, at a later stage. So I think that will be the best way to do it. 
and you didn't drop anything so that's fine and we've got a few baddies over here so let's see if we can take these fellas out so a two shot in these um, there we go oh I don't want to store all I want to take all of course um, all right is there anyone else over here so let's take you out so <coughs> excuse me at the start we've got a quite a bit of health which is nice uh, you know, to sort of kick things off. Um, let's go ahead and rate this. And, ooh, we got a banana. Nice. Um, all right, so let's just take out this fella before he hits me. Fantastic. Take all. And uh, let's just take all. So far, this looks pretty good. Now, I'm not too sure why I haven't got any audio coming through or anything like that. I haven't actually heard the game without the audio so far. Um... But yeah, I'm not too sure exactly what the go is with that. So I'm assuming that this might come later on. So you're just going to hear my voice throughout the whole time. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't uh, distract you guys. Hopefully you guys are cool with that. I'm sure you guys are cool with that. What am I saying? Okay, so this takes you down. That's kind of neat. Uh, let's see what else we've got in here. So yeah, it looks like we're getting... Is that, the, is that a helmet? That must be a helmet. Yes, it is. So let's take all. So you are going to get sort of like a um a baseline of um of uh, armor which is which is good but you're not going to get it full strength which is you know it is what it is right okay so let's just continue on anything up here that i can procure and take it doesn't look like it but everything looks pretty neat actually so far it's a little bit different to the standard norm but uh in terms of survival games so far but everything in terms of um i guess look and feel it I say, or I say feel, I'm talking about sort of like gaming, <coughs> excuse me, mechanics. And I feel like it looks okay. It feels okay. It's, um, you know, normal for me. Like, I feel like I can get adjusted to the game, I guess is what I'm saying, uh, quite quickly. There's a couple of little nuances here and there, and I'm sort of um, just sort of trying to, I guess, um, uh, accommodate for the changes or, you know, make those... Um, make those comments compensations really so yeah look so far so good really all right so we are so we're in an o2 lock so does that mean we're going to go and change i don't know what that means anyway greetings commander you're just in time unknown persons try to open the door of the ship why there's nothing here Unless uh, Mensis and his people came for the cargo, we need to get out of the station ASOP. We can't, the ship is locked. We need the code uh, of the head of security, Joseph Hanagawa. I recommend finding him first. Okay, well, that's what we're gonna need to do. Um, now, okay, so as you can see here at the bottom, you've got the um, attack, firing rate, defense, and critical hit. Now. They've got a couple of um, dots next to them, so this would be um, in relation to me leveling up. So you can actually um, put uh, something in there and you can increase that stat. So I'm guessing fire, firing rate would resemble attack speed. Um, and then you've got obviously attack, defense, and critical hit. So it's kind of like a Westland sort of look and vibe. I'm sort of going to put it out there that you can upgrade those attributes. Instead of spirit, you would have critical hit. So I'm guessing that might be something that's important further down the line, potentially, maybe. Um, can we interact with these things? Powders? Okay, so these are workstations. Interesting. So is this like our base? And th this is storage. You can upgrade these storage. Okay, interesting. That's pretty cool. Is there anything else up here that I can um, suss out? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it at all, but... It's telling me to go out this way. Yet I've still I've got this. Um, oh, okay. So I'm guessing. No. No, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going right now. Assuming that I might need to leave this section here. I am looking at the um, at the cursor. I just don't know whether or not if I have to interact with this thing. And will this allow me to go upstairs or something? I have no idea. But let's um, let us go back this way and see if there's anything that allows us to continue on. Okay, here we go. 
naturally. All right. Uh, here comes our courier. Your ship uh, turned out to be a tough nut to crack. Are you Mensis? Uh, why do you want my cargo? Although, you know, don't care. I just want to get out of here. Beware, courier. You are the target now. You can't hide from everyone. But death is only the beginning. Wow, okay. It's a little bit morbid, isn't it? Okay, so we can just continue our way along. Now, I don't know if there's any boxes or anything like that that I can unearth and open and pick anything out. Doesn't appear to be that way, which is unfortunate. There is a... This fella here, what are you doing? Hanagawa. Huh, here we go. Put down the gun on the floor slowly. So you work for PAX. Are they trying to get the cargo back? What's so important there? I just do my job and don't ask questions. Uh, so turn around and let's go to the ship. Do I look like a fool? Okay, it looks like we're taking down Hanagawa. Well, I would assume that we're going to take this fella out quite easily. There you go. And what have you got there, my good, my good sir? We've got uh, in no, knee ceramic armor gauntlets. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and take that. So it looks like we've taken him out, which is fine. Doesn't look like I can go and pick up anything else. Again, you gotta you gotta put you gotta give A for effort to um, navigate and explore before you take off because I doubt we're gonna be able to use this um, this spot here. So it is what it is. Okay, so can I get some O2 goodness? May as well just take advantage of that, really. So let's talk to this fella here. Okay, one security chief access code and don't ask what happened to him. What about the ship? Can we fly? A short-term flight to asteroid L346 is possible with a probability crash of 78%. Nice, here we go. We're being worse. Ada, get, get us out of here. And we are getting in the chair and we're going to get ourselves out of here. Perfect. Ah, global map. Okay, so we're going to get to suss out the global map. All right, very good, very good. So, <clears throat> so tap on location. We're not going to do that just yet. I just want to quickly have a bit of a squiz around and just see what is about. Can we tap on that? I don't think we can, unfortunately. United Earth Cluster up there. We've got all these up here, little asteroid. Look at all these things that, that are blocked away at the moment. Uh, contested space. Contested space. I wonder what that what that means. And then over here, we've got some asteroid looking things. We've got some stuff on there. Great wastelands. Interesting, interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this is really what I've wanted, always wanted for a very long time. And I've been waiting for the time for um, a survival game of the similar genre to that of Westland is going to sort of make its way and, yeah, become more um, available to us. So we've got the abandoned mines over there, uh, the uh, Carez, I guess. Let's go to the Forgotten Fields. It's telling us to fly. Gives you a bit of a synopsis of what's going to be there. Enemies, loot, ice, minerals and ores. So we're just going to head over there now and suss things out. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter. So, assuming that this is just going to be our home, I guess, I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and complete. Okay, landed, did not crash, running diagnostics, lots of damage to the hull and right thruster. We can't take off without repairs, but there's good news. You can collect all the necessary components from materials in the area. First, you'll need an ore drill uh, for mine resources. You can craft it from debris outside. Interesting. Okay. So it looks like we're going outside. So what I want to do first is I want to stow these things away because I don't think I'm going to need them here. Um, let's just do that. And the water I'll probably just hang on to. And let us head out. So I'm guessing this is our way out. Very good. So we've got to take the scrap material. Let's just do that. Let's just, uh, burnt engine, okay. And then what are these? Look at these little green fellas here. Now these are, these guys don't appear hostile, so, but can we actually shoot them? Can I shoot you? Okay, so I can actually hear sound now, which is quite nice. Don't know if you guys can hear it on your end. I might have to sort of pump up the volume. Let's just go ahead and do that. 
So I don't know whether or not it, that wasn't available in the early part of the game, but let's go ahead and shoot. There we go. Okay, so now you have the required components to craft a primitive or drill. So let's tap to craft, craft away. And then we've got ourselves an ore drill. Okay. Very good people. So I just want to sort of, you know, go around and just sort of pick a few things up here and there. I figured why not really. Uh, but we do, we do have some hostile people over there as well. I don't know what they are actually. I shouldn't call them people really, should I? But, <coughs> excuse me, as you can see, there is a lot of debris and things like that that you can pick up here too. So we've got a gas collector drone. Let's go ahead and try and take this fella out. There we go. Shoots out a laser beam too. What do you have in there? Okay, so you've got um, little burnt engines and stuff like that there too, which is quite neat. But yeah, there's a lot of things here too. Okay. So we've got these fellas over here. We've got these little cogwheels over there. So let's just go ahead and take you out, my friend. Uh oh. Uh oh. Two on one here. Two on one. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We made it. Alright, can we collect? Take all. Collect. And collect. And what is this thing? I don't know what this does. I don't know what I'm doing with it. He's doing something to it. Oh, okay, so you can actually um, break it down for scrap metal. Well, that's neat. What's this? What do I get here? Oh, that's my little uh, my ore uh, drill gun thingamajig. Let's go ahead and go back anyway, because that's what it's telling us to do. Might as well pick up this along the way. And um, pick up... Well, not pick up, but let's see if we can um, create whatever we need to create. Now, I'm keen to see what is our... Okay, so... Just trying to work out because it says we got O2 but I just want to know like how does that work in relation to um, our um, like oxygen and if there's levels and things like that that we need to sort of be aware about that's what I'm sort of trying to suss out but so far I haven't actually um, tapped to mine the broken machine okay so we can actually mine the broken machine sure So these broken machines weren't here beforehand. That's the thing. So not too sure on how that all works out, but eh, doesn't matter. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you um, if you're enjoying what you're seeing. If you want to see more, let me know because I'll spend some time playing the game just to sort of get myself, you know, up a few levels and explore and do all that sort of good stuff. And yeah, you know. We'll see how that sort of works out. Um, okay, I didn't actually read that, but my bad. So it's telling us to create a grinder. So we're going to do that. Tap the building. Can we move it somewhere else? Is that okay? Well, guessing not. <laughs> it's not letting me use it. Okay, so find meteorite minerals somewhere nearby. There must be deposits of meteorite minerals that I have to mine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So... What does this give me? Okay, so processing gives me raw minerals into powder, and that's quartz. So we've got meteorite and quartz that um, that we obviously need to find. Um, oh, okay, so this is a thruster repair. So this is uh, this will enable us to repair our, um, our ship, and it, it allows us to obviously travel, I guess. So that's going to give us the ability to travel to other planets and, and things of that nature. So that's cool. So we need, um, what do we need? So we need electronic components. We need um, an Astra A18 chip. And we need some uh, Ceramo crystallic blocks. We need 20 of those. One of those, 10 of these organic compounds. Okay. And assuming that there's some damage on the other side as well, I think they said to the hull, one of the thrusters and things like that. So I'm guessing that we're going to be needing um, pretty much all of the resources out here. And then this joint here, this, okay, so this is where we store our powders and whatnot, and that's what I saw before when I had a look to upgrade every little bits and pieces. So, okay, cool. So over here, it's telling me that there should be, well, there's some hostility here, so let's go ahead and take this fella out. 
and quick. Okay, so I picked up some min uh, meteorite minerals. So you can actually pick them up on the floor, which is nice. Okay, another mining drone. Oh, he's got an AOE attack, so we just gotta get out of his way. So let's take that. And okay, so this is where we can mine a few bits and pieces of these mineral deposits. Cool. This map will be enough. You can return to the ship now and put the minerals into the grinder. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And I definitely want to do some um, a little bit of exploration just so I can show you guys a little bit more of this um, of this gameplay. So here, okay, let's go ahead and craft. So you can actually craft all of that up. So we're obviously going to do that. And I'm not too, too sure as to where they sit. Do they come in our... It doesn't give us the option to take. Okay, so it's going to take a few a few seconds for this to, um, I guess, finish. I don't know where whether... I don't know where they are. I'm just sitting here, just waiting. Anyway, while we're waiting, there is an upgrade. So you can do upgrades here, crafting time, things like that. And that'll unlock the, um, the quartz, I think it was. Yeah, the quartz. Um, my dude is thirsty, so we better actually apply some water. So back up to 100%. Oh, okay, so there's the O2. So the O2 bar is just under your health bar. And then it looks like you've got like a radiation bar as well. So we, we haven't been in a radiation field, which is fine. Uh, craft has been completed. You can take the organic compound uh, powder. Please bring it to the thruster. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Select the... Hang on. Where is it? I don't know where it, sh um, where it is. Oh, okay, so powdered craft results will appear here. Well, that makes sense. So do we take that? And we head over to here, and then I guess we dump all of that in there. Complete, beautiful. Okay, so please note that this is not the only thing required to repair the thruster. Next, I suggest getting electronic components. I've detected a uh, presence of life forms on the asteroid. Apparently, these are bandits who are hiding from the authorities. So, I hope I can find the necessary components in their camp. Okay, so it looks like we're going to a camp. Interesting. So, that's going to be a little while away. So, if we can we check and hold the minimap? We cannot. Okay, I just tried doing that. Uh, that wasn't a, a thing, unfortunately, but it is what it is. But before we go any further, I'm just sort of keen to see, because um, I can see my... My weaponry is going to deteriorate so i'm just seeing what type of um so there's a rail gun there but i don't know how far you need to go along to obtain these things optical laser gun coils okay purify water extract oxygen and fine okay so really not much to sort of go on um unfortunately so it's not like i can actually um yeah it's not like i can actually um you know find other things and um create other things i guess i'm, I'm hoping possibly if we're at the um hey get out of here get out of here there we go get out of here okay cool um yeah i'm just oh okay cool so you don't have to restart the process which is nice so we've got a few more mineral uh meteorite minerals which is Pretty cool. There's a lot of meteorite here, so I guess you'll be farming a whole bunch of this stuff as well as you go along. Uh, Alright, so let's just take those. And, okay. Oh, we've got a bandit over here. Hello, Mr. Bandit. Alright, what do you drop? Do you drop anything interesting? Okay, so just give me water and health, which is fine. Uh, Alright, so that's where we're going. So I'm not going to do it in this video, but I just wanted to sort of get a bit of an idea and a bit of feel and look around and see, you know, what this game's all about. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about this one here. Um, do you want to see more? Do you want to see me play this a little bit uh, longer and see how the game progresses? And um, yeah, I mean, look, I've been pining to play a new game for a little while now. So um, hopefully this might um, satisfy that itch I've been having. And yeah, we'll see where it takes us. Alrighty guys, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, so make sure you, you leave a comment down below, hit the like button, share if you can, and if you guys are new to the channel or not, and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. 
Alrighty guys, take it easy and I will catch you guys in the next one.